So I introduce our 22nd starting spot, our last chance into tonight's 40 lap main event, none other than the Q32 with Nathan McDonald. Starting out of position number 21, it's the Victoria 15. Make plenty of noise, Heartland, for Zach Swanson. And this bloke will have plenty of fans right up there on their hill. Make plenty of noise for your 20th starting position, driving the V61, Matt Nelson. Hailing out of Avalon in Victoria, the number 14 for Octane Alley. Make some noise for Matt Gerlach. And this man calls Mildura Victoria home. Give it up for the V6 of Wade McCarthy. Starting in position number 17, he hails from Gowrie Mountain, outside of Toowoomba, make plenty of noise from Queensland, Rocket Rodney Pimenta. Starting in position number 16, you'll find this bloke at the Ready Pub searching for a palmy, driving the end number zero, Ty Galley. Qualifying in position number 15 for the Perry Family Farms, number 32. How about some noise for Brody Christie? This guy will be stoked to be in the main event, driving the V34, Jay Nicolaisen. Rolling out a brand new car this weekend. He will start from position number three from Bendigo. The number 17, make plenty of noise for Brad Wicks. This young bloke driving the V number five has done his family proud this weekend. Driving the True Design Homes V5, Darcy Wilson. There is some noise around here at Heartland. It's wonderful to hear. And we're going to keep it rolling for the former Victorian modified sedan champion. The number 33 will start from position 11. How about some noise for Daniel Simpson? He will start from position number 10 on the grid. Another Mildura Victoria car driving the V19, David Smith. Hailing from Townsville in the Dan's Automotive, number 25. One of the most likeable characters in Queensland. Make plenty of noise for the big Cortina, it's Adam Jorgensen. <laughs> Starting out of position number eight in the immaculate Q23, Tim Atkins. Starting from position number seven, the Club 36 Innovations, Wandon Heavy Haulage, Rocket Ship, piloted by Todd Atkins. At position number six, Todd's older brother, driving the V number zero, Brock Atkins. Starting out of position number five, the always immaculately presented AC Delco, Victoria 11. Come on, Heartland, plenty of noise for Nick Cockrell. Moving on to position number four on our grid, driving the N15, Max Clark. <laughs> Your reigning and defending national modified sedan champion from Torquay in Victoria. He's had the one on his door for 1,051 days. Make plenty of noise for Kai Walters. Your front row sitters now driving the Q148, Brett Barron. Grab a quick word with Brett. Brett, talk to us about what it means to be able to qualify on the front row of the National Modified Sedan title. Oh, mate, this is terrific. Eh? Like, we weren't even coming, but with work commitments and all that, and um, 
we had a window of five days to get down here and, and I said to Grubby we weren't coming and then the tree said let's not want to so yeah to get on the get on the front row of these fellas yeah on the Saturday. Yeah. Mate, you've certainly done Queensland proud. I look forward to seeing this Q148 right at the end of this show. Well, let's hope the old VS can rattle a few cages. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Brett Barron. And starting from pole position in tonight's 2022 National Modified Sedan title, replicating the efforts of his father, Chris Waters, and his brother, Cam Waters, your pole sitter tonight in the V92 for NZ, the Mercedes C350. Make plenty of noise for Jared Waters. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Jared. Such a storied family that you've come from. Your brothers, your cousins, there's so much going on in the Waters family. What does this mean to be a three-time pole sitter in the Nationals? Yeah, Dad, Dad was off pole, Cam's been off pole, but I didn't, I didn't think I'd be here from like when we started building the car. Like, this has kind of blown me away this weekend. But I think we've got it in the window now, but we'll see what, it, see what happens after this race. The most expensive driver at the Calcutta. It started the weekend off well to be the favourite and now you've made every possible chance to put this thing right at the front. Any tactics heading in? Do we set her up for the end or are you just going to go hammer and tong right the way through? Well, man, you've got to be there at the end. That's it. Any of these guys can win this thing. There's so many fast guys here. I rate them higher than myself, so... <laughs> hey, this is a belting field. Good luck in the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, make plenty of noise for your pole sitter. Tonight's 40 lap A main, driving the 92, Jared Waters. Well, the field is set, Jared. What a main event we are in for. It's an incredible lineup. So many stories from the tail right to the front. And the current national champion straps in at number three. So we watch the drivers climb in to the cockpits. The hairs are standing up on the back of the neck right now, Liam. It is title time here at Heartland. And we'll ask everybody standing along the fence now, please head back, take your seats, get comfy. Make sure we don't block the view of anyone for this massive 40-lap national title coming up. Waters, Barron, Walters, Clark, your front two rows as we start to fire some of these cars into life. Drivers getting strapped in, officials making sure everyone's A-OK. -okay. Crews checking on their drivers. Jorgensen gives a thumbs up for everyone tuned in at home on Speedway Sedans Live, powered by Pro One Race Parts. We're gonna get these cars rolling along. We'll send them in that wonderful four wide salute for everybody tuned in at home and everybody here at the venue. Darcy Wilson has the game face on Liam. It is time to go. It's National Modified Sedan title, 40 big laps coming up. This is the one moment that all of these guys have waited for for three years now. And it's finally become a realization we're gonna run the National Modified Sedan title once more. Such a spectacle to see these guys climbing in to the vehicles before we let them fly and we go door to door for 40 grueling laps. The nerves must be at an all time high. This is the moment that the modified sedans work all season long for to crown a number one. The hairs are up, the hands are shaking. I cannot wait for this thing to get underway. It is an absolutely stellar looking field crews have done a ripping job all weekend we know the track was trying on night number one night two is delivering thumbs up from the drivers wade mccarthy is pumped up matt gerlach's pumped up everybody keen for this big 40 lap main event so many former champions in this field so many young guns who are starting to make a name for themselves in modified sedans and intensity at an all-time high this weekend. They're just awaiting the signal and the last drivers to strap in and lock the window net in. You get to sit in your own little world, be amongst your own thoughts for the next two or three minutes while you roll around before this national title gets underway. In the last totally free breaths of air, 
because the rest from this point onward are going to be laboured. Almost ready to send them away. We're la waiting for the last of the crews to head back to the pits. The cars are under fire now. The Brett Barron Q148 breathing heavy. This is going to be a monumental feature race. This is what all of these guys have been fighting for. And we are just moments away from them joining the raceway here at Heartland Raceway, Moama. Folks, thanks for joining us here at the track from the crews right through three and four and everyone up there in the pit tents. Thanks for coming out. All those crazy units in front of the bar here on the main straightaway. Everyone under the pit boxes. We couldn't ask for much more. A capacity crowd at Heartland Raceway, Moama. This is what you've all been waiting for. As your national modified sedan title field take to the clay. Cars rolling away. And will settle themselves into a starting lineup. Get themselves accustomed to who's starting around them. Get themselves settled in the cars. Crank the belts tight one more time. Then we'll send them on that wonderful four wide salute for everybody here at the venue and everybody ho at home watching in on Speedway Sedans Live powered by Pro One Race Parts. Thank you to Bendigo Metal Fabrication. Thank you to Dave Roberts and the entire crew here at Heartland Raceway for putting on this wonderful title. Thank you to the drivers and the teams for making the effort to travel. And thank you to our Speedway Sedans Australia officials and volunteers for making this weekend happen. We are here to put on a show for everybody on the hill and everybody around the world. Tune in right now. National title glory awaits these drivers. And it is the ultimate in our sport as we start to send these drivers four wide here at Heartland Raceway. There is no better sight in motorsport. And when these drivers roll to the main strato, I want you to get nice and rowdy here at Heartland Raceway. This is the Bendigo Metal Fabrications National Modified Sedan title. And as they roll into the main straightaway, Heartland Raceway, out of your seat and on your feet. This is your class of 2022 and the National Modified Sedan title going four wide past the strike. And what a sight it is. 22 of the best in the country. And Liam, it is almost go time. That sight just takes your breath away, doesn't it? That camera angle from the boys committed right there on the main straightaway is going to be one of the coolest sights I think we've ever seen. We roll around four wide. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're around there on the back straightaway or into turns one and two, be upstanding, make plenty of noise. It's your field for the National Modified Sedan title presented by Bendigo Metal Fabrications. Continues to idle around. They're going to come now to the pit fence. And everyone up there in the marquees, wave your hands around, make plenty of noise, cheer on your drivers. This We've got any Jared Waters fans up in the house. He rolls right through the pit corner. Jared, this thing's going to be huge. Yeah, this is a monumental moment in the National Modified Sedan title. This is just as much for you on the hill, the pit crews that have slogged their way through a massive three-day event and everybody here on the main straightaway. Come on, Heartland, one last time while they're four wide. Make plenty of noise for your 22 starters in the National Modified Sedan title. There is no finer sight in motorsport and it puts goosebumps on the back of your neck. The hairs stand up as you see these drivers put on a show before we get underway for this massive 40 lap main event. So they start to clear the engines and pull into the double file grid. 22 cars, 11 rows deep. Crown a national modified sedan champion. 
Jared Waters on the front row with Queensland's Brett Barron, the current national modified sedan champion, Kai Walters, lines up in position number three. Can this guy do it once more? Driving the N15, Max Clark outside row number two. This is such an epic grid. It's littered with talent from the front to the back. Folks, continue to make plenty of noise before we go lights out to set this place on fire, Jared. When you build a racetrack like Dave Roberts has done, these are the moments you live for. Thank you to Dave and the whole crew here at Heartland Raceway. Lights go out. 40 laps on the counter. 22 of the baddest modified sedan pilots in the country. We are stacked, packed and racked. And your 2022 National Modified Sedan title is green here at Heartland Raceway, Moama. Waters with a good jump into one and two. Walters locked on the bottom and will try to make that work as Barron's shuffled back to fourth now. Clark goes through as well and it's a good start. Everybody makes it through one and two for the first time, Liam. Yeah, ripping through three and four now with the first lap go in the books. It will. And lap one is run and done. Jared Waters leads your opening lap of this 40 lap main event. Kai Walters ripping right with him. Cars are everywhere and we're yellow in turn number two. I can see Matt Gerlach as a definite. The Octane Alley V14 has come a rest. Yeah, Galley had a big moment in one and two, leaving Pimenta Wicks and nowhere to go. No front bar left on that car and a flat front left tyre for the RCP machining number eight. Such a tough break, Jared. They worked so hard to get to this point. And blown left rear as well on the Pimenta number eight. Not going to be happy with that one. And your big mover and shaker in that opening stands are Brock Atkins. Jumped up two positions. He started on the outside of row three and finds himself in fourth position now. So that's six to fourth in one lap. Important for Brock Atkins early here as the lights go out. Liam, we're not too far away from getting back underway. 39 still on the counter. Waters from Waters from Clark, Atkins, Cockerell and Barron. It's a very late launch. Clark side by side with Walters. Atkins is up the inside of Clark. That was a very late launch and Walters having a big look at Waters now. The cars are bunched up in the field. We're going to go yellow as Matt Nelson spins the 61. And that all stemmed from that late start in turn four, Liam. Everybody backed up and checked up as they all tried to make their way to the bottom of turns one and two. We saw guys like Atkins dab the brake and stab the car in and everybody checked up behind. Brett Barron had a big moment. Tim Atkin had a big moment. Jorgensen had a big moment. They were all trying not to get in the car in front. And unfortunately, Nelson left nowhere to go, Liam. Yeah, and I've got Matt Gerlach down here now as well. Matt, you're in pretty good spirits. There's not a lot really broken with the car. She definitely won't go any further, but just wrong place, wrong time, mate. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can't see a thing back there, and um, I think I'd vote one for tractor tyres over, like, a motocross jump for a pole line, and it just broke a lower control arm, man. And I shouldn't have been in the B anyway. I should have kept my head and, and not wrecked it following tangles in the last heat, right? So it'll be all right. Hey, that's it, mate. Who have you got to thank, man? The car's been a bullet all weekend long. It's not how you want it to end, but I'm sure your crew have worked hard. Yeah, exactly. I mean, massive thanks to Mum, Dad and Gilbert and also to Kai's crew. Um, first people to come over apart from my crew to just help out. Thanks to Octane Alley Performance, INJ Speedway Equipment, McAlpine Crash Repairs, um, Aikman Engineering uh, and Horsham Auto Wreckers, man. Gilbert helps us out a bunch, so I just feel bad for them. Mate, our heart goes out to you. We'll see you fighting another day in the AV14. We look forward to seeing that Octane Alley machine backpedalling again the way it should be. Matt Gerlach, he always speaks so well, even when you know, he's hard to be broken right now to not be still inside this race. He still speaks so well of his team and the Kai Walters team over there pitching a hand as well. Set for another start. Waters from Walters, from Clark and Atkins. It's a 
Still another staggered start. Waters can go whenever he wants to. It's the benefit of being a pole sitter. So Waters from Walters, from Clark, Atkins, Cockerell. Todd Atkins is up there now too. Here comes Jorgensen with a big move up the inside. The Queensland 25 and ripping the bottom side. The little Cortina goes to work on Atkins. Atkins went around the outside of Brett Barron and Brett getting shuffled back in the field here. Unfortunate as Kai Walters poked the nose on the inside of Jared Waters. Walters and Waters had a ripping battle back in 2018 at Blue River Raceway in Horsham. It was Cam though that weekend and his brother Jared Waters leads the title here as Brock Atkins now fires to the inside of Max Clark and the King's Royal Champion levels up with the former national champion in Max Clark side by side in a three and four. Atkins on the bottom, Max Clark on the outside hanging tough. Brock Atkins though has good purchase as we're side by side for the lead here, Liam. We don't know where to look. The top two battles are epic right now. The Mercedes-Benz for NZ Mildura currently leads. Kai Walters, your reigning national champion, has a big bite of that concrete curve. Brock Atkins is side by side with Max Clark. Atkins crosses the stripe in front, that third position. But Clark is still peeling the top side. Cockerell is tucked in tight. And here comes Todd Atkins now too. And we've had we've been hanging for this all weekend. Max Clark can hang tough on the outside, and he made that nearly work. He's stuck with Brock Atkins for three or four laps. There's a lane there if anyone wants to get up and sweep it. Jared Waters still leads. The car looks a little bit ugly on turn entry though. As the Mercedes tries to lock down the bottom lane, and Kai Walters will not go away. He continues to pester. That beautiful Mercedes C350 out in front. Back to Brock Atkins in third. Clark fourth. Then Cockrell fifth. Todd Atkins sixth. Tim Atkins seventh. Jorgensen eighth. Simpson ninth. Darcy Wilson in ten. Brad Wicks is ripping the top side deep in the field. He's putting a move on Brett Barron who just doesn't have the speed in this main event. He started outside the front row and he is deep in the field right now. Wow, here comes Brock Atkins. He has caught Kai Walters in a big way. The Portland registered number zero is pedalling the top on the Australian champion. Kai Walters is second, but Brock Atkins is up the inside. Side by side, these two boys race each other all season long here in Victoria. And right now in New South Wales, Moama, they go hammer to the door for positions two and three. With 10 laps in, there's 30 to run this time past the flagstand. And Brock Atkins levels up with Kai Walters. Side by side into one and two, the national champion on the bottom, the King's Royal Champion on the top. And Brock Atkins will move into position number two. Ten laps in, 30 to run as Atkins makes the top lane work. Walters fights back on the bottom, but Brock Atkins determined to do what only Kai Walters has done before and win the double in one season. Being the King's role in the national title, this race is developing beautifully, Liam. That V0 sits so nicely on the top side of the track. The Merck's got to be locked to the bottom, but the Atkins machine sits perfectly up the top. You'd have to thank that Elite Shock Services package that Brock has underneath that car. After taking on that business after the Druids in Mildura, Brock Atkins has the handle on that shock package. He gets into the back of the Merck big time. They continue on, but far out. Brock Atkins used up a big piece of rear bumper on the Merck. Yeah, that was a hold your breath moment. The Merck is not comfortable on turn entry. Atkins has so much more entry speed into three and four. Look at him close in this time. Runs the top perfectly. Jared Waters is tight as can be on the bottom. And Brock Atkins having the season of his life is closing for the lead in the National Modified Sedan title. And we spoke to him about what it would mean to win the Kings Royal and win the National Modified Sedan title in the one season. He's now sitting in the best possible place he could be in. 
to make that a reality, he battles Jared Waters for the lead. Kai Walters has not at all stood out of this one. Atkins with a slide job. Waters continues on the outside, he'll drive back by. This is a massive battle for the top three. Side by side for the lead and Victoria's best is showing up at the national title. Atkins with the slide job on Waters. Waters stands up and goes back around the outside as we're level across the line with 24 to run. The Merck stays up on the high side and he may have found something there as Jared Waters gets some good purchase down the back straight away. Brock Atkins staying right with him goes upstairs and it's so much better on turn entry. Look at Kai Walters sniffing around the bottom here, Liam. Zach Swanson retires in field. Waters sticks to the outside. How's the slide job from Brock Atkins? He commits to the bottom. This is a huge battle for the lead. Brock Atkins clears. Waters goes back up top. Way up top this time. Atkins clears and he's going to lead his first lap of Heartland Raceway. Brock Atkins got the job done on Jared Waters. And now comes Kai Walters. Atkins to the lead now. Waters second, Walters third. Max Clark starting to inch his way further forward. Cockrell runs fifth, back to Todd Atkins in sixth. Tim Atkins seventh. Darcy Wilson, Nathan McDonald and Simpson rounding out your top ten. Impressive from some of these guys making their way through the field. But Brock Atkins is running a mean line in one and two. And he'll go back to the top in three and four, alternating at different ends of the racetrack. The top looks fantastic in three and four now, and everyone starting to move to the top and sweep up there. As those tune in on Speedway Sedans Live, powered by Pro One Race Fast, looking at a magnificent battle between McDonald and Darcy Wilson. McDonald came from the last spot in tonight's A main, and he runs in eighth position. Darcy Wilson making a massive name for himself this weekend. He's moved up a bunch of spots as he battles with Jorgo through the middle of the field. Walters puts the move on Waters. Kai Walters is now up to P2 after a big move on the Merck across the bottom. Kai Walters switches to the top side. Waters occupying the bottom in the bend. Max Clark is by no means out of this thing. He's half a straightaway. He's back behind, just waiting for a mistake from the top three. Clark battling the bottom. He's going to come upon Jared Waters now. The Merck is still quick, but Atkins and Walters have the track position to hold this race steady. 23 laps down and 17 to run here at Heartland. And Victoria's best are standing up. These two young chargers putting on a show at the front. Max Clark, the former national champion from Crafton in northern New South Wales, moves through to third. And the Mercedes is struggling on turn entry. Atkins and Walters look fantastic, but Max Clark looks exceptional on the bottom as Todd Atkins makes a move on Nick Cockrell, and he'll move himself into position number five now. Cockrell with a little bobble, car looking unsteady. Back to Tim Atkin, Jorgensen, McDonald and Daniel Simpson at the back end of your top ten. Jorgensen just got swamped there and he may have dramas. We've run a massive 23 laps straight here as we start to wind toward the penultimate part of the National Modified Sedan title. Waters searching for speed up high but he just doesn't have the handle on the car as well as Brock Atkins does right now. The thing is sailing around the top. And he's committed to run there. A little bit of cosmetic damage on the front of the V0 isn't going to bother him. He's got lap traffic to contend with in a few laps time though. Adam Jorgensen retires infield. He finds a steady list of throwing cars down here on the infield chute. This will be interesting. There's cars two lanes wide right now. Ty Galley and Jay Nicolaisen at the tail of the field. And they're not going to know that Brock Atkins, the race leader, is approaching fast, and then they've got Brett Barron in front of that as well. So Galley and Nicolais are in their own race right now. But here comes the race leader, Brock Atkins, searching on the top side. He's got two cars to deal with immediately. It's time to make it work in lap traffic as Atkins goes to the bottom now in one and two. The Victoria Zero from Portland. 
closing on the back of traffic. This is Walter's chance to buy in to the battle for the lead. Atkins on the bottom now. Galley and Nikolaisen two by two across the track. And the EWS car makes a little bit of contact with the lap cars as Nikolaisen balks on the bottom. Atkins tries to muscle his way through in the lap car and look at Kai Walters closing now. Really starting to reel in your leader. He goes to the top in three and four. Brock Atkins on the bottom. Clark closing here too and we're going to have a grandstand finish with Tender Run. Hart is absolutely in the throat right now as here comes the reigning champion. So battle through lap traffic. They've got Ty Galley and Brett Barron in front. Here comes Kai Walters across the bottom. Galley climbs the fence and we're going to go yellow. Holy cow, Jared Ash. Can you believe the race we have watched so far? What a national modified sedan title we are witnessing here. Kai Walters will be devastated because the lap traffic was forcing Atkins to run the bottom and Kai's car is so much better through the bottom. All on the table here. It's been as good as it gets, honestly. Yellow lights go out. Hart is in the throat. The race lies in the hands of Brock Atkins, the King's Royal winner, and looking to make it the National Modified Sedan winner. If he can hang on for 10 laps, but he's got the reigning champion right on the hammer. Kyle Walters has been good across the bottom, but here comes Max Clark. Clark searching on the bottom. The Commodore has been rocket quick all weekend long. He finds the slick stuff. Walters and Atkins move upstairs, and we have a race on our hands. This top two, they follow each other from top to bottom. Walters inside the left rear quarter now. Atkins and Walters are side by side. Into three and four. Walters looks at the slide job. It's on for young and old. Walters in front from Atkins. Contact into one and two. Walters led lap 32 as Atkin tries to fight back Brock Atkins into Victoria Zero. Levels up down the back straight away. Slide job for the lead. Atkins gets tight though. Walters switch back underneath. This place is electric right now. Your national modified sedan title is a belter. Atkins has a big tight moment. Walters hops across the curb, he grabs a heap of sparks as well. This thing is shaping up to be massive. Atkins leads. Walters goes back to the top. Waters now in the three. Todd Atkins in for Jared. Don't count Jared Waters out of this as Todd Atkins now tries to find the last spot on the podium. His older brother leads as Nelson retires to the infield. It's Brock Atkins, Kai Walters, Jared Waters. And Todd Atkins, your front four cars. Brock Atkins doing everything he can to scratch and claw and hold on for the National Modified Sedan title. Todd Atkins is searching for that step on the podium. He has worked so hard for it. The Club 36 Innovations, number 36 out of Hamilton, Victoria. This young man is searching for a spot in the top three. He's come from behind the top six and he's now up to P4 but he's got Max Clark in behind in a very fast Mercedes in front occupying that third spot on the podium. Atkins and Walters continue to go bumper to bumper around the top side of this place and the slide jobs are imminent. Atkins goes back to the bottom and Walters shifts down there now as well. Jared, this thing can go top to bottom right now. Kai Walters and Brock Atkins. Looks like they're going to be the two to battle it out. They're going to come to the strike this time. There's two to run. Intensity starts to lift here at Heartland Raceway. Brock Atkins runs the bottom in one and two. Kai Walters absolutely ragging the Australia one as they shoot down the back straight away. Jared Waters of the Mercedes trying to buy in here as well. It's Atkins, Walters, and Waters, your top three to battle it out. White flag comes out here. It's the final lap in the 2022 National Modified Sedan title. And Brock Atkins 
making every post a winner. He's a former national junior sedan champion. He's the current King's Royal Modified Sedan champion. And Brock Atkins in the Portland Zero is your 2022 national modified sedan champion. Walters home in second, Jared Waters third, Todd Atkins fourth, Max Clark fifth. What a belter of a national modified sedan title, Liam. I am speechless, Jared. Listen to Brock, light this place up. Ladies and gentlemen of Heartland Raceway Moama, make some noise for your new national modified sedan champion. Did he work for that? Ladies and gentlemen, what a race we have just witnessed. Everyone back at home, I hope you've tore the coffee table to pieces back home in the living room. What a race. Be up on your feet, ladies and gentlemen. Salute this field. What a race it was from the front to the finish. Kai Walters, Jared Waters, Todd Atkins, Brock's younger brother, steps up in fourth as well. That's such a cool moment for the Atkins family. Greg and Kelly and the whole family, Cassie Wicks and the Wicks family and everyone that's behind this team for Wadia Works, Club 36 Innovations. Our top five cars pulling up on the infield. It was a valiant effort from Kai Walters, exchange slide, slide jobs, an exchange paint for the lead. And as Brock Atkins rolls away, make some noise, Heartland Raceway, your new national modified sedan champion. Listen to him stomp the engine of that V0 and now the AUS number one. I think we're in for a show here too. <laughs> The engine builder will be very, very nervous right now. He's going to burn this thing down. Atkins, impressive. He flew under the radar all weekend, Liam, and he just struck at the right time as he makes some circle work in turn three on a pit hill. How about some noise for your new national champion? That's so good. Right there in front of the cruise. Oh, make noise for this man. He does so much of the racing development for this team himself, between him and his younger brother Todd, Greg and Kelly and everyone will be there getting behind him and his partner Cassie and so much goes into this. It's a monster moment for this family. As the team runs across the infield, to greet their driver, brother Todd, the first one in the window. An emotional victory for the Atkins family. And very well deserved. A quietly spoken man does his talking on the racetrack as bump. Man, this is such a cool moment. Jared, his dad, leans in and gives him the pat on the chest. Now, so many drivers coming down to have a chat to the new national champion. Climb aboard the Zero, Brock. You've earned this one, brother. Oh, this is such a cool moment as he greets his family and the whole crew down here. That V0 is now a big A1. And Kai Walters as well, one of the first guys to come down and congratulate him as well, Jared. That's such a cool moment between these two boys. That could have gone anyway. I was really up in that thing. And his younger brother, Todd, gives him the big hug now as well. And Todd running up inside position number four is monumental for those guys. Yeah, wonderful result for the family. Brock Atkins gets the win. Walters home in second. Waters third. Todd Atkins fourth. Max Clark, your top five. They'll be on the podium with Liam down in the infield and all of the Speedway Sedans Australia officials and dignitaries. Liam, we'll let you get a quick word straight out of the car with our winner before the podium presentations just to get those raw emotions. Brock, you are now the Australian National Modified Sedan Champion. How does that feel? Dreams do come true, man. It's, that's crazy. I'm, I've dreamt of this all my life. Like, as far as I'm concerned, Modifieds are um, probably the pinnacle of SSA at the minute. And, um, and the car numbers and everything is, is unreal. So to me, if you can, um, if you can do this, um, yeah, I've, I've been wanting to do this all my life. So this is what we've been working for. Mate, you and your whole family, everyone that works in around this team, your partner, 
the Wicks family. There's so much more that goes into this than just you saddling up for 40 laps. Hell yeah, you did the best job you could have and you've just won that in 40 laps. But, man, this is years worth of building that you guys have just topped off. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, um, a lot of people don't realise we started racing when we were 10, so we've been doing it for, like, 14 years without a break. So we've been working this for a long time. Um, Mum and Dad, have, uh, they're the reason we're here. Um, so, yeah, really cannot thank them enough. Um, Todd, Cass, everyone who works behind the scenes, um, Dylan, Linda and there, Wayne there, Burrows, right. they've been um, they've been travelling around all of the state, all the country actually, to crew for us. Um, and, it's, yeah, it's muchly appreciated. Everyone on the car, um, Wadia Works, Trig Engine Developments, Adam Holt Industries, Tritech Lubricants, Club 36 Innovations, Cush Clothing, DC and TM Auto Alex, Low and Steel Construction and Haywood Highwood Drolix. Um, Rad Industries, I've probably, probably forgotten a, a dozen, but there's so many people to help out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm lost for word. Mate, it was such a cool moment to see Kai pull alongside you with that 10 laps to go. Just show the nose, let you know he was there, mate. That was such a cool sight to see from the fans on the hill and to see Kai, one of the first guys to come up and congratulate you. Shows the camaraderie in this sport, mate. Yeah, for, for sure. Um, Kai's a fantastic competitor. Um, you can always count on him being there, and I'm not going to lie, he, he spooked the shit out of me when he came up beside me because that thing's intimidating. But that's cool. Um, yeah, just yeah, I'm blown away. Mate, and your brother to get up to P4 as well is massive. You wouldn't have been able to see the race, but, man, we were cheering him home from the hill, from the infield, from the crews. They were all going off for your younger brother, man. That's such a cool result for him too. Yeah, for sure. Um, also, a big thanks to Ian Kay. Um, he did some work on both of our cars over the weekend. And, um, yeah, that's really appreciated too. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please be gracious with your applause and make plenty of noise for your new national modified sedan champion, Brock Atkins. <laughs> so we'll head to the podium and deal with the rest of the presentation and we'll come over here and support the rest of our top five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we move straight into our top five presentation for your National Modified Sedan Field. Please be gracious with your applause. He's won this event before, and today he steps on the podium in position number five, driving the 15. Make plenty of noise for Max Clark. Get you to join me up here. Max, that was a pretty gruelling 40 laps, man. You just had to be there. You showed your nose. You were right up there in about second and third spot. That race could have gone anywhere, mate. It was a belter to watch and to call. Yeah, I think we buggered up the tyre choice after how hard the track was on tyres last night. And yellow didn't help us, that's for sure. But um, yeah, congrats to Brock. He's been on top of it all year. Kai's always up the front and yeah, everyone else. Max, who have you got to thank, mate? This car looks immaculate and you were fast every time you hit the raceway this weekend. I've got to thank my partner, she puts up with me, yeah, spend a lot of time in the shed and the kids. Um, my brother just put a motor together to come down here. Um, who else is there? Oh, there's plenty of people. Um, Mark for the ties. Um, oh, Global Lubricants uh, and everyone else that helps, they know who they are. Ladies and gentlemen, make plenty of noise for your fifth place finisher in tonight's main event for the National Modified Sedan title, Max Clark. And this just gets cooler and cooler for this family. In fourth position tonight, in the National Modified Sedan title, driving the 36, Todd Atkins. <laughs> Todd, how good's this moment, mate? Both of you boys able to step on the podium at the big one. That's <laughs> unreal. Um, I think it's bloody so cool to think that we've, we've done this twice and, you know, there's not many families in Speedway that have done that, so I don't know. But the um, main reason for that is mum and dad. They are our biggest supporters and, yeah, they would do anything for us. Man, we're absolutely stoked for you. This, as you said, is such a family moment for you guys, both your partners, everyone that works so hard on this crew, you yourself. I know you spend so many hours back in the shed trying to make this dream a reality and tonight this is a massive moment for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, well, the hours that we put in coming up to this event 
were probably less than what we'd done for any other event. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. It's just, um, I'm lost for words, but uh, I, really, I really don't know. I'm just so proud of our whole family for what we've achieved. Soak it up, Todd. You'll be able to spend 12 months thinking about that one, mate. Fourth place in the National Modified Sedan title is Todd Atkins. And third place in tonight's National Modified Sedan title. He was your pole sitter and he was right there through the middle. Challenged the leaders the entire way out of Mildura, Victoria. Driving the 92, Jared Waters. He's going to accept the board and the trophy from the Roberts family in Speedway Sedans Australia. We'll grab a quick photo and bring you up here, Jared. Jared, you may have changed the game with that Merck mate, and tonight she's Australia number three. How does it feel? Man, that's pretty good. I'll take that any day. Man, these kids, I'll call them kids because they're nearly half my age. But um, congratulations to Brock and Kai, man. They, they are so, so quick. And, man, um, Brock deserved that. He drove the wheels off it. He earned that. So. Man, you put up a great race. The top three, four, five, six. You were right there through it. You led a couple of laps. You were right there on the top side. You never let those two go either, which is a never-say-die attitude. And the Merc put up one hell of a race. That's it, you can't, you can't back off, so about halfway through it dropped a cylinder or something, so I was running like a bit of a chaff carter, but I don't know if it helped because it didn't it drop some power, so. Man, I think she dialed up pretty good on the top side when you're able to move it up there. It looked like it was a little bit more of a handful at the start of the race, but she came in pretty good by the end. Yeah, it felt like, I don't know, the cuff was probably pretty good, but I'm worn out now, yeah, man, that was hard work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Australia number three now in the National Modified Sedan title is Jared Waters. In second place today, he's held the Australia one for so long now and tonight he hands it over to a good friend. He drove one hell of a race in the Australia number one. Ladies and gentlemen, be gracious with your applause for Kai Walters. Kai, you guys just put on one of the best National Modified Sedan title races I think there has ever been. Second place must still feel pretty good. I know it's going to ache in your heart a little bit not to be able to claim the one for once more, but, man, you'll be back and second is nothing to poke a stick at. Yeah, no, it's been, a, been an absolute honour to hold a uh, number one on the door for what it was, a thousand and how many something days. So that was cool. And, um, no, we're still proving points still up here, so... No, it was a bit of a slide of fest at the end there, so I hope we put on a show for everyone and everyone that was bagging the track yesterday. I think they, uh, they deserve an apology. That was one good race track. So, um, yeah, just massive thanks to the Roberts family for the track and the whole Heartland uh, Club and committee and whoever runs the show and um, all the Speedway Sedans Australia and Speedway Australia and everyone who helps, uh, helps get the show on the road. So, and, um, yeah, and all, all my guys back in the pits and um, for the ma massive effort and, yeah. Not quite, but uh, nearly. You're one of the biggest fans and family networks, always up there in turn number four cheering you on, mate. Such a cool family operation you guys run. You're Australia number two, and it's got to still feel pretty good. That race will be on the highlight reel for a few years to come. Congratulations. Make plenty of noise for Australia number two now, Kai Walters. <laughs> and this family will be on top of the world right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please be up on your feet. Make plenty of noise for your new... National Modified Sedan Champion, Brock Atkins. <laughs> Seems such a shame to lose the bucket hat. <laughs> it's a belter, wasn't it?
think you'd be happy to lose it for this one. Climb up here, A1. Brock, we spoke to you right after the race. There's no way that's had a chance to sink in. Does it feel any better now you're up here with the Australian champion hat on and the trophy in front of you? No, you can't get any better feeling than this. Um, yeah, I missed a few people earlier. Um, so a massive thanks to um, Grant Bird, Grubby. He worked his ass off this whole weekend to put this show on. And I don't think he stopped all weekend long. So um, yeah, massive thanks to him. Um, like I said, that track was sensational. Um, thanks to the SSA crew, um, yeah, just everyone who makes it possible. Um, and yeah, once again, all my sponsors, um, Triggs Engine de Development. Um, Simon's worked his ass off on our cars um, for a couple of seasons now, and it's really shown. Um, and yeah, his work's great. Um, Club 36 Innovations, Fringe Benefits of Hamilton, uh, Wandon Heavy Haulage, Adam Holt Industries, um, Tritech Lubricants, um, yeah, all the sponsors on the car, all the sponsors of the event, and um, yeah, just everyone who helps out. And a big congratulations to all the place getters. So, yeah, thank you. Mate, so well spoken. We talked a bit before about the moment that 10 laps to go and we're yellow, and Kai just rolled alongside you heading into one and two and rattled the cage a bit. Whether that was in his playbook or not, it would have worked a fairly good number knowing the national champion was right there and right on the hammer. Yeah, absolutely. There's, um, as far as I'm concerned, Kai's one of the best and um, still is one of the best, obviously. Um, he's been at the top of the game for a long time now, so um, any time you can beat him, you've, um, you've deserved it as far as I'm concerned. Today, Brock, you joined the history books, mate. You won the King's Royal earlier this year, and now you're the National Modified Sedan Champion as well. Soak it up, get some photos. I know it's going to take 12 months for this one to sink in. Congratulations, brother. Absolutely. Thank you, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, make plenty of noise for your top five in the National Modified Sedan title. And to grab some photos with a very happy top five indeed, Jared Ash. What a race we have just witnessed. And the camaraderie between this category is just unparalleled. And Kai Walters has been one of the first to get in the car and congratulate Brock too. is one of the coolest moments I've seen in a long time. Yes, plenty of talent on display this weekend. And those blokes on the podium right now displayed plenty of it in this wonderful 40 lap national modified sedan title a ripping event slide jobs for the lead contact between the leaders but everyone raced each other hard but fair it was a wonderful display of speedway sedans australia racing on behalf of everybody here at the venue dave roberts and the team at heartland raceway on behalf of yourself liam and Maury, it's been absolutely magic to bring you the National Modified Sedan title this weekend. Heartland Raceway has been a wonderful host to the 2022 National Modified Sedan Championship with thanks to Benigo Metal Fabrication. Everybody here at the venue, we hope you head down to the pit area, meet these drivers, see the crews and everybody that works so hard on these guys. Have a lemonade with them and enjoy yourselves. Let's be all sensible down in the pit area as these guys still need to go to post-race tech but it's been a wonderful modified sedan title, Liam. It's been an incredible one. This will go down in the history books for sure, and I'll carry it with me a very long way, Jared. A big shout-out to Bendigo Metal Fabrications and the whole Roberts family that come on board to sponsor this moment with Speedway Sands Australia. I've had an incredible time working with you, Jared, and Maury as well, calling all of the support classes and working with us all weekend long. This has been one of the most professional race meetings that's ever run, and this race will be on the highlight reel for many, many years to come. Murray, you've seen plenty of amazing action around here at Heartland for many, many years. This would have to rate up there with one of the best features around here. It would just about be there. That was the, uh, the National Super Sedan title. This one, probably the two of the best races that's been here ever. The Super title would go to woe, so sort of you've got to put that one right up there. But this one rates as one of the best races. The track coming beautiful in the end. A little bit tight yesterday, but today I don't think anyone could uh, complain about the track. All the infield official Dave has here working, everyone. I'm sure the uh, Dave and Helen Roberts would like to thank everyone that works here because it doesn't happen on its own. It takes a lot of people to put this together, uh, and it's come together beautifully. Yeah, it certainly has been a magic weekend, Maury. Again, on behalf of everybody here at Heartland Raceway, thank you for 
your attendance here this weekend. It's been wonderful to watch this feature race unfold. For everybody tuned in on Speedway Sedans Live, on behalf of Greg Lind and the team at Speedway Sedans Australia, and with thanks to Pro One Race Parts, Cool Drive Automotive, Race Tech Steel, Kenko Shock Services, Kelly's Body Works, and Cush Clothing for their support of our national title Speedway Sedans, Speedway Sedans Live live streams. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you at Alexandra for the national junior sedan title in just a few weeks' time. We look forward to seeing that un unfold as the Atkins family make themselves on the podium and what a wonderful photo that will make for the lounge room wall in Greg and Kelly's house. A wonderful moment for the Atkins family. Soak it up. Very well deserved. And we'll tune in next time on Speedway Sedans Live. Drive safe, be safe, and enjoy yourselves. Thank you for your attendance this weekend.